It's Wednesday and welcome to another episode of Ecoville, your show that promotes environmental conservation. Our guest on the show today is Aristide Kwame. He is a visual artist from Ivory Coast who uses discarded flip-flops and other footwear and turns them into artwork by cutting the rubber and plastic soles and assembling them into giant portraits. His most famous art is that of the late former South African president Nelson Mandela and the late American civil rights activist Dr. Martin Luther King. Welcome to the program, Kwame. <laughs> Can you please tell us about yourself and how you got into the visual art industry? My name is Kwame Kofi Aristad. I'm a visual artist, graduated from the National School of Fine Arts in Abidjan. I have always had the ambition to embrace the artistic fiber very early on and entered the fine arts after the end of my high school studies. Okay, can you please tell us what materials do you use for your art? I generally use plastic waste and in particular used flip-flops. Why did you choose to use discarded material? I use these materials because I consider that they pollute our environment. And it's also a way for me to give new life to these objects. Uh, what story are you telling with your art? My work deals with the subject of man and his environment, identity, and especially the notion of happiness in our societies. The faces that I engrave on flip-flops placed next to each other constitute humanity, and humanity is part of the pillars of sustainable development, which are therefore social, economic, and ecological. And on these flip-flops, people have left their footprints and their DNA. I, by recovering them, I collect this data and I immortalize them through my work, a way of saying that we all have timeless traces that will serve as proof of our existence to future generations. Okay. okay. Uh, why do you think it's important to recycle material and how does that benefit the environment? It's a problem today for our planet because thousands of tons of plastic waste are dumped in the ocean every year. And me, as an artist and someone who's part of this humanity, I believe I have a role to play in making a difference. Is using a recycled material popular among visual artists? Recycling has existed in art for a long time, where artists used paper, cardboard, and other materials. And today there are many artists who use recycled objects because it is news and we cannot close our eyes to it because, as we say, the artist is the reflection of society. I can quote amongst others the Ghanaian artist El Anatsui, who uses bottle caps of spirits, an Ivorian artist, Pascal Conan, who uses electronic waste, and Saint Etrine Yins, who uses molten plastic. How can the art industry benefit from using discarded material to create art? The art industry can benefit from it. First, because it is a citizen act, it is not expensive, and it is sustainable. As the world is facing the climate change crisis, do you think art can be used to teach the public about climate change? Faced with global warming, I think art is an essential tool for informing and even training populations because art is our daily life. Uh, lastly, what advice would you give to an aspiring artist? Uh, 
First of all, I encourage them and I also ask them to be patient because it is often difficult to make themselves to be understood as artists. However, only their work can take them far. Thank you very much for your question. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Merci, merci à vous aussi. Merci pour vos, pour vos questions. Et <laughs> j'espère que j'ai plus ou moins voilà, réussi à répondre. But thank you for joining us. Your art is an inspiration. Thank you again to all our listeners. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on our social media pages. Our handle is EcovilleZW on all platforms. Join us next week for another episode. I'm your host, Nonsigele Logwa